One day, I was so bored in class that I got distracted with the rainbow outside. My history teacher saw me and asked me to answer a history question, which I had no clue what the answer was. So she started complaining that I should pay more attention to classes, stop daydreaming and blah blah blah. But history was boring. I'm pretty sure my other self would agree because he would never show up in her class. Okay, this one time he did show up and he looked desperate. He said someone had stolen our book of life. What? This was really bad because whoever stole my book could change my missions in this planet and bad things could happen to me. That night, I dreamed about a small creature in green clothes. He said he had taken my book and he was changing a few things. I asked him why and he said he wanted my other self. So he had written a mission for me to be separated from him. Then he said not to worry because he would also write in my book of life that I would be rich in exchange for my other self. I told him OS was not for sale. He made me so angry that I woke up. <sighs> this creature with my book in hands could literally kill me if he wanted. So I told Mia Vo about it, but she didn't believe me. She was like, You're not almost dead. These games that you play are all in your head. Back at school. I had a surprise history quiz and didn't do well at all. I was sure it was the little man writing my book to screw me up. I had to get my other self and my book back. As I've said in my previous video, there was a creature who said he was responsible for me. So one night, when I had a lucid dream, I called for him to help me out. What do you want? Someone stole my book And why is that my problem? You caused this mess. I'm not getting involved with nature beings and their tricks. I'm busy right now. Do not summon me again. Hmm, nature beings, eh? So I started searching for a connection with them until I found someone. And he was on fire. He stared at me without saying a word. That was creepy. I told him I needed help because my book of life was stolen. And he was like, I know who stole it. And the only way to retrieve your book is by burning it. I can burn it for you. Burn it? No, that's insane. But he was like, don't worry, it's safe. By burning it, you can have your other self back. But I'll lose the book. You can just make a new one. You know the way. The only thing you lose is the recorded history written on it. But that's not a problem because history doesn't matter to you. I didn't even know the book had my history in it. But I was only 13, so there was probably not much in there. At least I would have OS back and he would be able to help me out. So I had to agree with his plan. It's done. Here's your book. I woke up and I was feeling a bit down. I had this weird feeling that something in my book was very important to me. Although I was not sure why. Maybe history was important after all. I felt like crying and OS was back. So he asked me why I was sad. And I told him it was because I had to burn 13 years of history. But he started to laugh. Oh man, I can't believe he was finding that funny. So he said that luckily for the book was never burned. They took it to play a prank on me and OS had got it back. A prank? I got trolled! That I was not going to forget. So one night, when I had a lucid dream, I went on a quest to find the pranksters and have my revenge. But someone else showed up. Hello, I'm a guardian of nature. I'm here because mother sent me to give you a gift for your troubles. So she handed me a key and it entered inside my heart. Only you can decode your book of life now. No one can read or write on it without the key. But please, in exchange for the gift, I ask you to forgive my brother. Okay, I forgive the little man, but there was one more involved. So I called for the fire creature and he came. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna burn you for this, human. I cannot let you harm him. Go back to your planet. <laughs> yeah, sure. I'm just gonna smoke a joint first. Uh, I think I forgot my lighter. Do you have one by any chance? We'll meet again. <sighs> Now you, hasn't anyone told you not to play with fire? He kill you once and you learn nothing. Do one more stupid thing again and the next time you see me it's gonna be to pick up your soul from your ashes. And I do not warn twice. I wish you peace and light. Okay. I want to wake up. Can someone wake me up? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs>
Thanks for watching my video. In my next video, I talk about the day OS and I got sued and we had to appear in court. So don't forget to subscribe to not miss my videos. Let me know in the comments if you liked this story and check out my other videos because they're very similar. If you like my videos, please help me by sharing my channel. Thanks for being nice. Bye.